Hey everyone, here we are, ready to get started on this man cow that I have been promising you, and that is, it is me, Dora, that yarny zebra. I'm going to pull this over, I'm going to bring this forward so you can see what we will be making. This is a pretty small and compact example, and this is a chunkier material, so chunkier yarn. This is a beautiful loops and threads from Michaels. Got that on clearance, but this was also loops and threads from Michaels, and this one is called uh, Tweed, and um, I believe this was called Driftwood. I love these colors. And right there, you can see I have put my little um, designer You know what I'm talking about. Gizmo on the project. It's called That Yarny Zebra because that's who I am. That Yarny Zebra and stuff. This is a um, beautiful twisted man cow. For this one, because it was a thinner yarn uh, than what I will be using for this tutorial. I did do 150 chains, but everybody's um, man has his own size neck. You know, you gotta you gotta do what works for your fellow. Um, I have my yarn. I have my hook. And this calls for an eight millimeter hook. The scissors are available. And this darning needle. Put everything over there. And right here we do have some lovely stitch markers. This one is from Texas. I'm loving it. Love, love, loving it. This little beauty um, is a little cross that I made with a leftover um, part of a necklace. This one came from Knit Crate. You guys who get Knit Crate may have the same little dilly. Here we go. All right, so... Let's get started. I feel like I am a little bit off center, but I am going to go ahead and chain 100, no, I'm going to chain 80 and then check to see if I have enough uh, length for this tutorial each neck is different so you got to just go by what works for your guy this is hopefully in time to get some christmas stuff done and this is where i am going to show you how i do my very simple slip stitch all right let's do that one more time so i just have my yarn on my pointer both ends down in my hand, I put my hook in, twist it, and there's my first chain. We're going to do 80 of these, and I like to count tens. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Start over one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our twenty. 
I did do my um, big ball here, so it is coming from the center pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is 40. We need to get us some more. So I'll meet you back. Three, I'm counting. I will meet you back. All right, I have my 80 chains, and I'm going to add one. All right, so when I am going to do this time around is just do single crochets. Uh-oh, let me not mess up. It's not single. It's a half double all the way down. And then we will start our pattern. Half double crochets all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. Half doubles. We are gonna be working this in half doubles throughout. So just keep your half doubles going all the way to the end. Um, we will meet you when we are down at the very bottom of this chain. All right, so I just wanted to come back and share where we are doing a turn and chain. Let's do that again. Chain one. Turn your work. And we're going to half double crochet in the back loop two times. One, And now we are coming to the front. We're going to use the third loop. If you're wondering what the third loop is, it's down here, right below the front loop. I'm going to pull that up so you can see. The third loop is right here right below the front loop. Okay, I know this is a variegated. It might be such a struggle to see, but I'm going to try to get this up here for you. So I usually take my hook, come down, go up under both of those after I yarn over, pull that through. I want to show you one more time. Yarn over, Take your hook, go up through both of those. And now we're going back to the back loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and you pull through. And let's go back again to the front. Here is the third loop. Go up into the front loop that's facing you. Pull up a loop. You've got three on your hook. Yarn over. Go through all three. And you can see the texture here is starting for this uh, magnificent man cow. Okay. Let's do one more of those. It will come simple to you after you have done it a few times. It's not a double crochet, it's a, a half double. 
Let's do this again. Yarn over. We're going back to the back loop. Please do not think that this is the loop we need. This is the front loop. There's the back loop. Scoop. Pull through. Pull through. Yarn over. Scoop through. Pull up pull through. Now we're back to the front and I am working on getting in the camera. It is dark and rainy today. I hope that the visual is going to be good enough for this video. I have done this in parts because I am struggling with some back pain and sitting um, I'm sitting with the ice pack right now, just saying. So we'll see how far we can go with this. I'll get that done. This is the second one. Oh, come on, baby. Don't give me a struggle this afternoon. And you can see the texture here. This is going to be a nice and warm and toasty. Uh, but not too much. This is the most comfortable, love, squishy loops and threads I've ever used. It's a bulky five. And, oh, I'm going to see if I can remember the color of it. I'm going to do a few more of these, and then we will, um, I'll meet you at the end. Okay? Doing the back loop again. One, two, and back to the third loop, which is right here. And then this is the front loop. You pick up both of them. Yarn over, pick up the third loop, and the front loop. Okay. The next thing you do is the back loop and go all the way to the end and I'll meet you there. Hey folks, here we go. We have just done the very last two on this side. Um, I know, it's thank you Jesus, finally there's a light. I've done the very last two on this row going to chain one and turn my work when you get to the other side you will see where you have the lovely humps available to show you the pattern I love this pattern all right and now all you need to do on this row so simple half doubles all the way across, all the way across, half double crochets, all the way across here. This is a much bulkier yarn than I used for the first uh, man cow. I'm going to halt this right here. And you can still see the pattern is very visible. And I was telling you the color of this, and it is called granite. Granite. This is the big ball, and this is the granite. And this pattern had smaller yarn, and um, you can't see. It's it's more of a vague uh, pattern shining through, but I. All right, moving right along. I'll see you at the end. Hey guys, I've made it to the end. Turn on a little light on the subject. I made it to the end of this row. This is row three. This was just a all the way across half double crochet. And I've done my turn and chain. And guess where we're going? We're going into the third loop on the front. We're making a hump as I 
uh, see that's what we need here. We're alternating. We got a dip here. We got a hump here. This is a hump. This is a dip. This is the back loop. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. This is the front loop using the third chain. Okay, you guys ready? This is the back loop. You'll see the pattern coming up here shortly. Let me get myself into the camera. Here we are going to make a bump or hump as we call it using that third third chain. I've been calling it a third stitch, haven't I? <laughs> the third chain. Go into the third chain. Now we're going into the third loop. Third loop. Third loop. I was right the whole time. What was I thinking? Y'all ignore me. I'm in pain today. Sitting on an ice pack for my back. Yeah. It's truly happening. Okay. Keep going. Remember, mm, you got to keep your pattern going to in the third loop and the front loop to in the back loop. Half double crochets. And keep on crocheting. I'll meet you at the end. And what do, what do we do at the end? Who can tell me? At the end, we will be turning and coming straight back across with simple half double crochet. See that pattern coming out here? Absolutely love it. Hey, welcome back. I made it to the end of this row. And now, what we are looking for, in case you have thought to yourself, I've lost my place. What What's going on? Well, take a look at your pattern and see where your humps are. And this row right here, as we can see, is nothing but the half double crochet. And this last one is a half double crochet. No, sorry, I just blubbed that up. So you take your, make your chain, your turning chain. We're just gonna do a half double crochet all the way across. And I'll meet you at the end. All right, we're at the end. You can look at it before we turn our work and see what we need to do as the next pattern. As we are alternating, you can see that pattern coming up there. Turn it this way and look at it as well. right here we need to do back loop half double crochet back loop half double crochet go in here pull up that third loop and the front loop pull up third loop and the front loop go back to the back loop back loop Front loop, front, and you can hold it and look at your work, yes, hump, sunk in, hump, sunk in, hump, and you know you got to see where that pattern is working for you. 
all right I'll catch you um, when we are finished with let's do one two three four five we're on row six and I think we are going to do 10 rows so I will meet you at the 10th row and we'll see where we are from there hey beautiful people Oop, let me get this ice pack out of the way I am already done with row nine and I think this needs a few more rows to it let's count these so we will see where we are one two three four five six seven eight nine I am feeling this needs at least two more rows um, a patterned row three rows and then one more row of half double crochet and we will end it with a row of single just plain single crochet before we begin joining this before we, we begin twisting and joining this okay so let's go ahead and turn our work after we do our turning chain we're going to turn our work and we're going to start this part right here this part right here needs to be a flat which I'm calling this part that's not pooched out a flat so that means back row back loop double half double crochet and now we're picking up that third loop the front loop pulling that through and we're making our pattern back to the back loop half double crochet up to the front loop of course that third loop that we pick up first third loop front loop pull it through now we're back to the back loop half double crochet we are not um, doing anything with the back loop we're not playing with the third loop at all on the back we're just doing the third loop on the front side of our work here we go back loop and please go ahead and go all the way to the end come back up with your turn and chain and do another row of half double crochet then do a one row single crochet and I'll meet you back well, beautiful people here we are I at the very very last row we are doing a single crochet and I wanted to let you know that I switched to a size six millimeter hook to do this last row because I like how the foundation row is a little bit snugger that's a good word snug and tight than the rest of the uh, rows so I have switched down to that small um, 6.0 and you can see that it's bringing it similar to this side we're not gonna struggle with uh, a wonky twisted man cow so we are switching to the small um, 6.0 hook instead of the big one that we were using before which is an 8 um, so 
going to finish this row up and I will meet you at the very end so we can get to uh, constructing the remainder of this man cow thing. Wow. 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 Look at this, guys. It is completed. I had this much yarn left out of. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see how much we got here. 250 milliliters, 250 grams, 273 yards. And yes, I did two. I've made two. So this one um, is done. And this one we are going to finish together. What I'm going to do so we can use this part. I'm just going to snip it off way up here. Sit back down with you guys. I hope I'm not wiggling everything. I'm going to pull this all the way through. Snug that down really good. And we're going to get this threaded right here. All right. Okay, so what you need to do here to decide which is going to be the up and which is going to be the downside, it's not really going to matter because it's going to be twisted. You're going to do your twist and then you're going to bring your edges together. Now, I left my big long string here the tail and I'm going to right here right now I'm going to give this um, I want it to be like an invisible I'm going to go ahead and bring this in here we're going to cover it up I'm going to bring this right on. Here we go. I'm going to try to make this as invisible as possible. I hope you can see that. I did put the camera up a little higher so you could see the, the part that is being finished. Stay still, buddy. You're getting snugged up. He's getting snugged up in there. All right, we're going to just keep going using just as a small amount of this as we can. We don't want to leave a huge big. On the other side, I'm just going to lay it flat and show you. Just keep bringing your tail in with you as you go. We're just going to continue picking up just enough to bring this all together nice and snug. We don't want it to look pinched or to leave it puckered, but we're, we're hiding. We're hiding this tail that we started our foundation chain with. Okay, keep working. I'll meet you at the very end. And then we'll weave in what's left of this. Thank you guys for sticking with me while I'm sitting on a ice pack. All right, let's see what we got here. I am at the end. I have finished that. I have this piece.
piece left and it's too um, short to thread my needle first so I have weaved my needle in through here did a little weaving of the needle now I'm pulling the end all the way down I'm gonna snug it snug it snug it all right and then you wow it looks a little bent um, you're going to weave your needle back through thread that thread that bad boy sorry I usually have more end but not this time thread it pull it through and you're gonna have just a little bit of that there and you can just snip that pull it all right let's turn this thing around see what we have this is the back that goes on the neck okay and here is the man cow oh here's the man cow now you have the options I don't know if I have any of my little uh, labels in here um, but you use your own label or you can use a big black or a gray button black is um, what I would be doing okay so you've got this all done and ready for any of the masculine people in your family you can do um, a little thing to attach that or you can leave it just the way it is um, I wish it was a little closer right here I might take and just sing that up a little piece of black that I do think I have a little black left I'm trying to be a perfectionist here but you know there it is it does look a little odd right there with the variegated but I am fine with this it will be around someone's neck and all scrunched up um, you might have some people that are real real picky about how it looks in the back but this is this is the man cow tutorial thank you for watching um, I will do some pictures of someone wearing it uh, it might just be me so <laughs> whatever but this is oh let's straighten that up there you go this is the man cow and it is thick and squishy it is made with loops and threads um, charisma big ooh, ooh, ooh. and I was able to get two out of this because I did um, another one I need to tie in my ends for this finish that up I'm, I want to do this different I like the way this one um, is less chunky in the back so I'm going to redo this as you can see it's still it's a pro it's a protege <laughs> a product pro prototype whatever it's it's a another let's see if we can make our um, join a little better so you can get two out of this much 273 yards you can get two man cows and these are um, using 80 chains plus one multiples of two plus one so you have your um, uh, 80 uh, foundation foundation chain plus one and just get this ball rolling get this done snug up your um your man friends hubbies boyfriends boss whoever co-worker 
with a luscious, thick man cow. That's exactly right. You ladies like this? Make one in your color. Come on, don't be shy. And I will add some pictures at the end so you can see what this looks like on a neck. <laughs> Even though it might be mine. So thanks for watching. God bless you all real big. Hello to everybody that just came in. Rewind it. Watch it. This is the man cow. This is the first one I did using these beautiful colors. And it's a smaller version but it's the same pattern and I love it it does have my label on it and I am that yarny zebra okay this is it this is the man cow the manly manly cow I love the colors of this but this granite right here is so squishy and so comfortable to work with. Both of them were very good. Both are loops and threads. This one is a um, size four instead of a five chunky. Thanks for watching. God bless you all real big. And remember, you're his favorite.